Hi, I'm Chaelin. I'm, I'm from Vanuatu, the happiest country in the world. But you know, in here we still have some problems, including the rain. <laughs> I can't stand the rain against my window Bringing back sweet memories Yeah, when the rain Do you remember How sweet it used to be Okay, we start now It's straight, huh? Okay, my name is uh, Frank Kidion and I'm a peer educator. I have worked as a volunteer peer educator for 10 years. What we do is uh, we go out in the streets and do one-to-one -one peer education, like meeting somebody, uh, talk to him or her about, especially about the HIV and uh, STIs, other STIs. When I first started uh, doing the peer education work, I found out that lots and lots of young people need help, in, especially in STIs and HIV. They have uh, experienced STI symptoms, but they didn't know that it's an STI. So I feel that there's more and more people out there who need help. So One Small Bag started back in 1989, which is a long time ago, and it started off as a little theatre group of four people. And we continued as a theatre group up to 1994, when we moved into the present warehouse. And we also started expanding our operations into film and community theatre. And it was uh, through our community theatre work with the people of Black Sands that we came to open Campusum Head, which is the clinic that the peer educators all work out of. And that, that happened, the clinic happened, because the actors had been doing plays around reproductive health for years and years, and they have a passion about population growth and a terror of what it will mean to little villages and ecosystems when the population grows. So they wanted people to have access to contraception, and that it was very random in the villages, it was very random in town. So they were really keen that we had a clinic. And when we worked with the people of Black Sands on the great big play, they also wanted a little reproductive health clinic. The young people are always looked down on because they wouldn't go to the government facilities because people will talk about them or something like that, especially if they need to go and get some condoms. So like in the past, um, Sex is not talked about openly in the homes. It's a very sensitive issue. And most parents wouldn't talk about sex or even family planning or uh, reproductive health issues, especially menstruation. Uh, mothers just don't have the courage to tell their daughters. So this is where it leads to like girls getting pregnant at a very early age. So we found the money to build this little concrete thing on the back of a small bag and that became Campus and Head. And then we recruited some nurses. We, many peer educators joined, some from that Black Sands play, like Frank and Obed, they were in the original Black Sands play. Um, and others who were also in that play have now left to do di different jobs. Although the prevalence of HIV is low in Vanuatu, we are experiencing um, a striking uh, number of STIs in, in country. I'm Dermot Hurley, I'm a doctor from New Zealand and I volunteer part-time with One Small Bag and we're doing a study into chlamydia and the reason we are uh, looking at chlamydia is because it's very prevalent in the South Pacific. Most studies have been done show about 25 percent of young people actually have are infected by chlamydia and chlamydia is an independent risk factor for HIV that means if somebody sleeps with somebody else has HIV, they have unprotected sex, and if they have chlamydia, they're about five times more likely to contract the HIV than if they didn't have chlamydia. And that's why we're focusing on chlamydia. Control is one way of preventing HIV. 
the peer educators, the volunteers for One Small Bag are instrumental in this because without their ability to communicate to people and for people to have the confidence, confidence in them and in the treatment, people won't come forward for testing. Although the peer educators are focusing mainly on uh, the vulnerable groups with is young people, um, they are also covering the iris groups like the sex workers and the seafarers. Okay, name me Marishan Bolenga. Mimi work with someone peer educator for about seven years now. I work with them project for sex workers project. I mean, no easy. I mean, hard. So it came one time when we writing things. Say, let us try to find them out. To say, maybe more get to take more get up. Lolly, we give him out awareness. Lolly get up. Lolly aware. Say that one name way good, more one name way no good. Where you mean to say, boss, blow make him. Or say, blow side to save sex. More must make him say, all get up. Lolly must feel free to blow come to clinic. Come to submit clinic. Lolly one small back theater. Me mix with them all get up. Say, blow. So, look, keep him Maya. Keep him relationship. Plumi with the Molgata. I, when we play, use some language. Yeah, we play that one own language. Plumi play chokes. Plumi play something. Make him say Molgata. He look me. Only thing say me too. One sex worker. But no, me no one sex worker. Me, it too much. It too much. But me no minim say me no enjoy him. Me enjoy him. Me like him. So now Small Bag isn't such a small bag, it's quite a big bag of two clinics, one in Vila, one in Santo, a big theatre group and we also make the films and Love Patrol and we also have the wonderful peer educators who do so much for the community. There are many TV series around the world that have an HIV AIDS theme, but particularly in Africa and there was uh, this wonderful uh, African lady who came to head a big Pacific regional pro pro project uh, and she was very keen to have a Pacific HIV soap. We came up with 10 episodes, we called it Love Patrol and it was an immediate hit around the Pacific. And we do touch on themes that are really unusual and many many people throughout the Pacific have said you know because of this program we've talked about things we never thought we'd talk about in the family. And in Love Patrol 3 we have really the first gay character that's, that's ever been on Pacific TV. The gay character has caused quite a lot of interest. You're gay, aren't you? What do you think? A lot of people don't really understand the, the various different kinds of sexualities that people might have. Julio is, is more transgender than, than gay. And people have watched him on TV and they've gone, what is he? Who is he? What, what's it? Tell us about him. And one of the peer educators called Edmund has described sitting with his family when that's gone on and how he's tried to explain that people have different ways of being. It's all, I'd like, also like to say that homosexuality is, is frowned upon hugely here. Um, and and a, lot, a lot of countries tend to deny that they have anyone who's homosexual in the entire country. It just doesn't exist. At Small Bag, the peer educators work with a group of what are called MSM, or men who sleep with men. Because men who sleep with men are not necessarily gay. They might just sleep with men because they can't find a woman for that night, or because they fancy this particular guy. But they, they don't consider themselves in any way to be gay or homosexual or anything. Uh, I'm not sure wh exactly which group our peer eds are working with, but they're working with people that are willing to say they are men who sleep with men. With our volunteers, our peer educators, I think the advantage is they are local, they speak the long, local language, they understand the, the cultures. Even though um, we are from different islands, uh, there are some similarities. People in the communities respond well to our local people. We don't, we don't have to train them 
uh, on the cultures. Uh, Clever is somebody who can do custom medicine and like in front of too many people believe that um, um, Clever can cure HIV, HIV and AIDS but it's not true. Uh, like we understand that uh, HIV doesn't have any medicine or any cure. And the Pyreds are just an amazing group because it's the hardest thing in the world, especially in this society, to go up and talk to other people about sex. One to one. Actually, in a group, it isn't all that hard because uh, people are really open. But to go up to somebody sitting around and start that conversation, if you're a young woman, is, is pretty tough. But they do it and they talk to all sorts of people. Um, and they're really, they're really keen on doing it, they love it and they rush off to all sorts of places in the community. They, they distribute more condoms than the entire health department I think. The whole thing about the peer eds is they're young, they're local, they're just like everybody else. They're kids from the community but special kids. They're very special because not every kid can do what they do. Through my brain, pressure, pressure. I think I'm going.